Welcome to Corvette Today, the podcast that talks about everything Corvette, with your host Steve Garrett, MC and DJ at one of the largest Corvette weekends in the country, Corvette Fun Fest, president of the Corvette Club of Kansas City, Missouri, and radio disc jockey at the number one radio station in Kansas City for over 40 years. Here's Steve Garrett. Thanks for listening and watching Corvette Today, the show that talks about everything Corvette and the only current podcast dedicated to Corvette. I'm your host, Steve Garrett. I appreciate you tuning in. Corvette Today is brought to you by Wheelcraft. Want to dress up your Corvette with bright chrome or black chrome wheels? Visit wheelcraft.com and learn about their advanced PVD chrome finishing. They can refinish your wheels or offer a wheel exchange for most models, and it comes with a five-year warranty. Visit wheelcraft.com today or call 833-840-5334. You can listen to Corvette today on all podcast platforms. You can also listen on your smart device. Just say, hey, Google or Alexa, play the podcast called Corvette Today, and you're connected. Be sure and visit the updated Corvette Today website. It's corvettetoday.com. You can also access everything there, including the Corvette Today merchandise store. You can also join the Corvette Today Facebook group there and sign up for Corvette Today emails, notifications, and updates at corvettetoday.ck.page. And if you like YouTube, you can subscribe to the Corvette Today YouTube channel. See all Corvette Today episodes on YouTube. And be sure and patronize our flagship sponsors of Corvette today, Aerolari Wheels, a true forged wheel with over 20 different unique styles to choose from for your C8 and wide-body versions of the C7, C6, and C5 Corvettes. It's an amazing value, starting at only $23.88 for a set of four fully forged wheels. And use the promo code CT111 and get $100 off your purchase. Visit aerolari.com, that's A E R O L A R R I.com, and use the promo code CT111 for your $100 discount. Also, midenginecorvetteforum.com, the forum that focuses on the new mid engine C8 Corvette. Meet a lot of Corvette enthusiasts like yourself at midenginecorvetteforum.com. And a shout out to Corvette Forum and CanadianCorvetteForum.com, welcoming Corvette enthusiasts from around the world. It's time to bring you the latest Corvette news and headlines with my pal Keith Cornett from CorvetteBlogger.com. Keith is here every other week, twice per month. We keep you up to date and current on America's sports car. Keith, welcome back to the show. Did you survive the hurricane down there in Tampa okay? Yeah, Nicole didn't really bother us all too much. We had a little bit of rain, a little bit of water, a little bit of wind. But for the most part, because it was on the other side of the state and coming across, we were really unaffected. I did my Corvette move. I went ahead and just threw it in the parking garage. I keep thinking about those people down in Naples who are looking at that storm track of Ian coming to Tampa or just north of Tampa. You know, they're saying, well, everything's fine. You know, I don't have anything to worry about. It's not going to hit us. And then the last second, it moves, you know? Yeah. I wasn't really worried about flooding because it was coming in from the Atlantic side of Florida. But we have these big oak trees over over the house they're talking 50 or 60 mile an hour winds you know there's always a chance a branch can come through and stuff so i said you know what i'm gonna take a little caution here i drove the car down to a parking garage let it down there and stayed down there overnight everything ended up being really cool so no problems there in fact i got something cool i, I maybe we can talk about this i have an apple iphone and this time when i dropped off my car i stuck an apple air tag in the car itself yeah you can't really track them in real time but anytime somebody with an apple device goes by it, it pings it and gives you your location so so as I was sitting here in my house waiting for the storm to pass, I was able to log in to find my app and it would show my car was seen, you know, 20 minutes ago and it's all right where I left it. That's a little bit of cool peace of mind. Those things only cost like $25. So it's a nice way to keep an eye on something that you very much love and do it in a way that doesn't break the bank. That's a great idea, buddy. I didn't even think of that, but good for you. I'm glad everything worked out good. Everything's fine, so uh, ready to get to it. And I know you're ready to get to it, too, because of your recent acquisition. Yes, my baby came home yesterday, so I, we can talk about that in the lighter side as well. Okay, you got it. Why don't we start out, buddy, like we always do with production at the Bowling Green Assembly Plant. All right. Well, they're working away. We had a, actually, it was interesting. Last week, they had a day off. It was for UAW voting. They, they have the entire day off to do some voting on contracts or what have you. 
Don't really know all the details there, but looks like production just moving right along on the Stingray front. We should cross over 17,000 on the VIN sequence. Maybe today will happen. It might have happened late Friday. We're recording this Friday morning, so I'm not quite sure where they're going to end up for the week. But they're cranking these things out, so that's all good news. Of course, the 70th anniversary cars, you were number 1245. You just took delivery. We heard from our friend Mike Furman. He just had 1374, I think, built this week. He tells me that Pearl White is outselling the Carbon Flash versions nearly four to one. Wow. You've got a Pearl White, which I know you do. Yes. You're in the right club, it sounds like. People really like that first year color of the white Pearl Tricoat. And the Z06 production don't really have a full count this week. We usually get these after the weekend and uh, still kind of waiting to hear. Leading up to some of the news we're going to talk about in a minute with the cars being released, they were doing two per day. So about 10 per week. We know that they had done about 49 or so, I think, in our last update that we talked. We've got some people that are taking the tours and they're actually seeing four different cars on the line at one time. So it looks like they've upped it. They've doubled it, which is good. Yes. So we're doing about four a day right now for this week. And we're hearing that if everything continues to go well, that it could definitely move up there, ramp up. We'd really like to see 10 to 12 per day. I think that would be a great count. I think overall, if they want to be in a great position, they want to be doing probably around 15 per day at least. So it's on its way, it sounds like. We've got a lot of cars that went to 3,400 last week that we're kind of watching. So things are moving along. Couldn't be happier about that. Absolutely. And Rick Hendrick's number one car, his Z06 car, came off the line last week as well, didn't it? Yeah, actually, this car was built on September 21st. As we've talked about a little bit, Chevy's held the photo of the Black 70th Anniversary Corvette. It was the first one off the line. It was the one that he paid $3.6 million for for charity at Bear Jackson Scottsdale earlier this year. When they opened up the quality control hole, they released a bunch of cars to the dealers. They celebrated with publishing this photo showing the black car off the line. There's another photo that's out there, too. It shows the crew around the car, which is always one of my favorite pictures. These people were hard on it. I remember that very first picture of it all being in camo that they showed us last year. You know, the fact that they got a customer car coming off the line now, that's pretty cool too. So with the quality control hold released, Chevy said, come get them. Hendrick was up there. They brought up their own carrier. They took six Z06s back to City Chevrolet in Charlotte. On Friday morning, they had the cars arrayed outside in the parking lot in different configurations. And then they lined them up in front of the building and then they moved them into the building. Mr. Hendrick came down, checked out. I understand that he took one of the Cars. There's six cars, five of them are black, and one of them is a white pearl 70th anniversary. And that's the car he drove around the facility, I guess. So he's enjoying those. And then Sioka Corvette of Atlantic City, world's largest Corvette dealership, they got their first arrival on Saturday. They had five cars come up there, a couple anniversary cars. There was an Elkhart Lake Blue Z06 with the Z07 package, and that was just a beautiful car. So they did the same thing, had them arrayed out front. A couple of YouTubers, our friend Jeff Zippity, Duda was in town came down and filmed those as they were moving them around. Very cool. Great to have these cars out there now getting into customers' hands. This is what we've been waiting for. Absolutely. And this is really cool because the National Corvette Museum did its first Z06 delivery, and it was for Speed Phenom that we've had on the show before. Exactly. It's funny, when they released the cars, we had a car show up on a Jack Cooper transport vehicle. It's all wrapped. They just drive it across the street. They unload it there. And in fact, uh, they actually had a few Z06s come in. So Speed Phenom did the first RHC delivery, the museum delivery, on Tuesday morning. He had a Torch Red Z06 Coupe Z07 performance package, had the visible carbon fiber wheels. And then he spent nearly an hour doing a video, and he uploaded that. So if you really want to see an in-depth Z06 delivery as an RHC, His video clock's in, I think, around 58 or 59 minutes. So really good stuff there. He worked with a specialist at the NCM named Stacy, who just had a wealth of knowledge and was all up on the differences with the Z06 versus the Stingray. It really looks like a fun time. I always wanted to do an RHC delivery just for that experience, that hands-on attention to detail they give. We understand this week was busy for the RHC program. Looks like they did five this week. We had three torch reds on the floor, a hypersonic gray, and then a silver flare. I think the silver flare is going on Friday. These are real customers picking up their cars. It's exciting to watch them. They're excited to get them. You see the pictures outside against the mural and then with the facility in the background and the car just sparkles. It's a neat feeling. Just excited to have these cars out. 
Yep, I didn't do that with my C7, and I did not do that with my 70th anniversary C8. At some point in time, I really have to do an R8C delivery. I'm like you, Keith. I'd like to do it just to have that experience. It'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, and now we got tours opened up. Some people are seeing their cars. There's a YouTuber, Savage Geese. We posted a couple pictures of his car on the line. And in fact, Chevy allowed him to do some filming on the assembly line. So we're going to have some great coverage of seeing these cars actually being assembled. Good stuff coming. Just stay tuned for all that stuff. We'll have it up when this soon comes out. Yep, it'll be very cool, that's for sure. Also, Keith, I saw that we did get some November constraints for Stingray announced. What are those? Yeah, so we just went through a Stingray order cycle. So what they do is they always put out the constraints so the Chevy reps can pair up their orders correctly. We have the same thing, Z51, non-Z51, with the magnetic ride control. And this is probably kind of a chips constraint that we've had. We've had this for the last four months or so. We're seeing roughly a 65-35 split between the Z51s with MagRide and then the non-Z51s. So a dealer might get nine or ten cars as an allocation, let's say, and their split's 65 35. So they could probably do six Z51s for their customers, and then they would have three to four non-Z51s that they could fill. Sometimes, even though there's a split, they might just be told, hey, you got five Z51s this month. There is still some interesting hoops they're jumping through with the chip shortage, but we're pretty solid in terms of what we've seen for the last few months. The only thing that makes us just a little bit nervous, obviously, is the 5ZZ high wing spoilers. These are the ones in carbon flash metallic. People love those. Right now, there's uh, zero availability nationwide on the carbon flash high wings. And also on constraint with zero availability are the Q9i 20-spoke gloss black forged aluminum wheels. Hmm. Those are showing zero as well. We've seen those come and go off and on constraints. Same thing we had with the previous wheel, the black Trident wheels, just for some reason. These are very popular wheels. They just have a little trouble keeping them in stock. Those are the only constraints right now. This week, we've got Z06 allocations coming up we'll find out then if there's any additional constraints specifically for z06 sounds good also speaking of z06 coming back into the fold we had the edge red engine manifold covers now available again yeah, so we announced those I, I, probably in our last conversation. The dealers just got the word that, okay, we're back with those, but they weren't showing up on the build and price. And so people were concerned. They didn't see them. They were wondering. So yeah, they are back up on the build and price configurators now. It looks like we're all set with that. I don't really foresee any further constraints related to either the edge red brake calipers or the engine covers for the LT2. Good. That sounds great. I'm glad to hear those are back online again. Buddy, let's take our first break. When we come back, it's time for Corvette Racing and Corvette Rumors here on Corvette Today. We all know that wheels make the car. Wheelcraft will help you take your Corvette to new levels. Wheelcraft offers the world's best PVD chrome finish available on the market. Available in bright chrome and black chrome. Wheelcraft nails it in both appearance and durability. And it comes with a five-year warranty against brake dust burns, pitting, peeling, and color delimination. Wheelcraft is also ISO certified. Whether you're having your wheels refinished or an exchange transaction, there is no core fee, no deposit, and you don't pay for the finished wheels until they are installed on your car. Wheelcraft insists on complete satisfaction before you pay. Hear from one of our customers. I picked up a brochure at the National Corvette Museum and we took delivery of our new C8. I called Wheelcraft and in 15 minutes I ordered the new bright ice chrome wheels. Wheelcraft's follow-up and follow-through is superb. The wheels arrived on Sunday, installed on Monday, and cores were returned same day. The wheels are the highest quality I've ever seen and they look awesome. Great prices, great customer service from initial contact to installation. Thanks, Dennis from Nashville. In many cases, Wheelcraft offers finished wheels on exchange or will apply this new finish to your wheels. Either way, Wheelcraft treats your wheels as their own. Visit our website at wheelcraft.com or call us at 833-840-5334. Arrive in style with Wheelcraft. The Radiator Grill Store offers protection for your C8's front radiators and side intakes. They also carry front strut tower covers to prevent rusting and pooling water, all with do-it-yourself installation. Get 10% off your total purchase with promo code CT10. See the full line of products at radiatorgrillstore.com. When you want to buy a Corvette, or any Chevrolet for that matter, get yours from Hendrick Chevrolet Shawnee Mission located in Kansas City. Hendrick Chevrolet is the largest Corvette dealership and showroom in the Midwest. With a knowledgeable sales staff and Corvette sales specialists on hand, they'll help you build the Corvette of your dreams, and they ship nationwide. With Corvette certified master mechanics on site and a huge parts department, with over 24,000 parts and $2 million in inventory, Hendrick Chevrolet is well equipped to take care of your every need. 
From sales to service to collision repair, Hendrick Chevrolet has you covered. Visit ChevyUSA.com or call 913-384-1550. American Hydrocarbon is your one-stop shop for custom interior, exterior, and engine bay items for your C4 through C8 Corvette. We can help you create a custom look for your Corvette with carbon fiber or 10 different color patterns and styles. Whether it's a custom-made engine cover for your new C8 mid-engine Corvette or custom-made C4 interior upgrades, American Hydrocarbon can help you transform your Corvette into a best-in-class show car. And now we're proud to announce that we can produce and distribute officially licensed GM products for the C8 Corvette. That includes the front splitter, side skirts, engine appearance panels, and engine fluid caps. Plus, we now also carry the C8 Speedline side skirts along with the engine appearance package and high wing. Our products have been featured in VET and Corvette magazines. Give us a call, 813-476-5638. Visit our updated website at AmericanHydrocarbon.com or email us at pat at AmericanHydrocarbon.com. Let us help you make your Corvette the car you've always wanted it to be. American Hydrocarbon. And now, back to the only current podcast on Corvettes, Corvette Today, with your host, Steve Garrett. Thanks once again for listening and watching Corvette Today, the show that talks about everything Corvette. Brought to you by Wheelcraft. Want to dress up your Corvette with bright chrome or black chrome wheels? Visit wheelcraft.com and learn about their advanced PVD chrome finishing. They can refinish your wheels or offer a wheel exchange for most models, and it comes with a five-year warranty. Visit wheelcraft.com or call them at 833 833- Eight four zero five three three four. I'm your host, Steve Garrett. With me every other week is Keith Cornett from Corvette Blogger. Don't forget, if you want a deeper dive into any of these stories we talk about, you can always go to CorvetteBlogger.com. In this second section, we always talk about Corvette racing and Corvette rumors. Keith, the last race of the year in WEC is in Bahrain, isn't it? Yeah, it was an eight-hour race, the eight hours of Bahrain. Actually, it was the first time that Corvette racing has ever competed in the Middle East, which makes sense that we'd want to be there because that market has really taken off for exports. You know, it's a market that's very similar to ours, so we don't have to like make a lot of modifications to the cars. And of course, we saw, you know, Chevy, they unveiled the ZR1 back in 2018 there, I think. So it's an important market, and it's great to be racing there. Obviously, we are recording this prior to the race happening. We'd have to get up Saturday morning to watch it. I'm planning on doing that, actually. This is the last race for GTE Pro Class in the World Endurance Championship. After that, next year, they're going to a GTE Amateur, and the number 64 Corvette will return to the GTE Amateur Class with Nikki Katzberg and amateur Ben Keating as our drivers. We're going to do a two-series split next year, which I actually like. For us, it's twice as much racing, right? Right. And we get to see the cars on some of these historic European tracks. Not sure what's going to happen with Le Mans next year. If we're just going to have the one car at Le Mans, that's been kind of the rumor. But we'll just have to play it out. Obviously, Tommy, who was racing in the WC, he's coming back stateside. He's going to be the endurance driver with the IMSA team with Jordan and Antonio. And then he's also serving as the main test driver for the new GT3R program that's coming out that we should see some track stuff next year as well. We're racing on a waiver, so don't expect much. But the fact is we're racing, and that's all we can be happy for. Yeah, absolutely right. And it's toward the end of the season, so looking forward to next season and what that will bring for Corvette Racing. Yep, absolutely. In the rumor section, Keith, we touched on this briefly in section number one, but the new allocation for November is planned and coming out for the Z06. Give us some more details that you've got on that. Yeah, so Chevy had sent out a memo to dealers. They did this on the same day, I think it was around November 3rd, that they released the quality control hold for the Z06s and sent the cars out to dealers. They did announce, and it was a surprise announcement, that there's going to be additional allocations and dealers should see their new numbers on the 16th, Wednesday, which is kind of different. Usually they do this stuff Thursday, but they did say Wednesday the 16th, so we're going to be watching there. Huh. And if you remember, Chevy had said no more allocations for the end of the year. They put out their first order cycle. I think it started back in late July and then in August. And then they took cars. They took an estimated 500 cars or so. And then if you remember, September 2nd, I believe, they came back and said, okay, we're going to stop right there. We're going to make sure that all these get built correctly. We want to do it a little bit slower. They called it a metered ramp up. They said there's going to be no more allocations until the end of the year. 
they must be feeling confident for them to come out in November now and say, no, we're going to roll out another round of allocations. It solves the problem. If they didn't take orders until January, these cars would probably be late February, March before they were start building. So if they can fill the order pipeline now and production still rolls and they're getting to the numbers and they're getting up there where they want to be, perhaps these are going to be then scheduled for that bridge, perhaps end of the year, early next year, early 2023, that the cars will be scheduled. The other thing too that this might solve is if you remember in the allocation all that first time, other than the pin orders, the customized VINs that we saw, many of the top 10 dealers, at first they didn't receive any allocations and the Chevy came and put some back, but there was no Z07 packages with that. It were all the low wing cars. So we're thinking that this might be an opportunity for Chevy to kind of make that difference up a little bit, give their top dealers a little bit of quantity with both Z07s and let them enjoy those and get those out to their customers as well. This is good news. It was a surprise. And so now we're just going to wait and see how many actual cars they give out to dealers. And then hopefully from there, we can watch production counts and see how they're doing. If they can get close to these 495 cars or so being done, that all bodes well. And the order cycles will hopefully come back a little bit more regularly. We'd like to see them again once a month in conjunction with the Stingray orders. That would be awesome. That's for sure. And Keith, we have the biggest rumor, I think, of this show. Have we seen evidence of an LT7 engine for the C8 ZR1? You know, back early on in C8 talk, we're going back 2017, 2018, I think. Right. You know, there were some CAD renders that were released that showed a twin turbo version of what was a mid-engine V8 for this car, widely believed to be the LT6. There's been little hints here and there. But to actually see what we saw, so we're at the museum for the NCM anniversary show in September. One of the seminars they did was back in the garage area, and they had this LT6 sitting on this constructed pallet. When they built the LT6s over in the Performance Build Center, then they put them on these shipping pallets, they crank them down so they're safe, and then they ship them out to a third-party dyno center that's 20 minutes away or so. They dyno the cars for 20 minutes, and then they ship them back to the PBC, where then they're eventually put into a Z06. Gotcha. What we saw was, here's this LT6. It was definitely an LT6 engine, said LT6. It had no turbos on it. When I saw it on the crate, there was actually this black label that was just a dark black label on the bottom. You know, we didn't know what it was. But somebody had been there from the Corvette Forum earlier in July before that was covered up. And sure enough, it says LT6 Gamma which is the production engine for the LT6. And then it showed LT7 beta. And these were stenciled into this shipping pallet. So the idea is that, wow, they're confirming that maybe a ZR1's LT7 beta engine has been built. They've used in these shipping pallets to test it. They have these pallets there so they know, okay, this one is for the LT7. It's labeled. So I think that, you know, like you said, this is a great hint that they are working on the future and the future is the LT7. Very cool, buddy. I'd love to see that. Also, Corvette got the visible carbon fiber door intake trim accessory, which we know is the boomerang. But for the Z06, it's not a boomerang. It's more like what? A pitchfork? (laughs) Now, I've got to tell you something. I haven't seen the carbon fiber spear or the wishbone for the Z06 yet. Wishbone is better. Yeah, the boomerang for the Stingray, that is a genuine Corvette accessory. And you can buy that. It's for sale. If you go to Chevrolet.com and then to the accessories tab for the Corvette, Mm -hmm. they have all kinds of carbon fiber there, Steve, which I'm sure you've already drooled over with your new car. But they've got visible carbon fiber high wing. They've got the visible carbon carbon fiber boomerang. They've got the visible carbon fiber radiator inserts for the front there. It's all beautiful and gorgeous. Some of that stuff we always thought would be kind of rolled out as a, when you're ordering your car, you might select that, but we've only seen it for accessories. Okay. What we saw for Z06 was this really beautiful visible carbon fiber accessory rear spoiler. If you have the low wing on the Z06, you're going to get essentially two pieces. Then you have these accessory pieces that you can use to raise or lower the wicker on the end of it, the edge. This visible carbon fiber accessory spoiler is one piece that goes across, and it's just beautiful. Actually, the thing costs like $5,700. So the nice thing is that if you get a car and you hold it for six months, Chevy's going to give you these reward points valued at $5,000. So you have $5,000 to spend. You might want to consider taking a look at that. 
It's absolutely gorgeous. It was termed late availability, so it never ended up in the build and price configurator. And I think it only showed up in the visualizer at the very end before the build and price configurator was launched. So definitely check that out. We're probably going to see some new stuff coming as well as they start cranking out production the cars go. One of the things that we saw on an R8C car that came through were those Jake stickers that are on the back of the car on the rear quarters. Yeah. There was a silver flare car that was an R8C delivery. It had them and it was just beautiful. There's some really cool stuff that's coming out for Z06. So check it out. Go to the accessories page on Chevrolet.com and you can see them there. Very cool. Well, buddy, let's take our final break. When we come back, it's the lighter side of Corvette up next on Corvette Today. Are you ready for a better insurance policy without the Corvette tax? With agreed value protection, the value of your collector vehicle will never change. Plus, you'll save money. Get a quick quote at ncminsurance.com. Hey, honey, are you awake? Mm, I am now. I can't sleep. Since turning 50, I keep dreaming of a red door and a blue door, somehow knowing there are only choices for retirement. Okay. Through the red door, we outlive our money. We have to rely on our kids. We're stuck on a fixed income. It's terrifying. Yeah, that would suck. But through the blue door, our money outlives us. We retire on our terms. Our kids stay our kids, not our caretakers. We make work optional. Yes, that's much better. That's what I I want to, but what do we do? We call True Wealth and Company at 913-653-8783. They specialize in helping successful people make work optional. They're our fiduciary Blue Door personal wealth managers. Hey, where are you going? It's 3 a.m. I can't sleep. I'm going to check out True Wealth and Company online at retirewithtrue.com. That Blue Door is going to be our retirement. 913-653-8783. Visit us online at retirewithtrue.com. Investment advice offered through True Wealth and Company, LLC, a registered investment advisor in the state of Kansas. The holiday season is here, and MidAmerica Motor Works is sure to have that perfect something for that hard-to-buy-for Corvette enthusiast on your shopping list. MidAmerica Motor Works can help with lots of t-shirts, Corvette car covers, stocking stuffers, and more. They have all of what you need for years and generations. Generations of Corvette. Whether it's the latest shirt, jacket, hat, or lifestyle accessory, you can get it at Mid America Motorworks. Visit MAMotorworks.com and shop Corvettes by generation or specific year. You can even shop by price for the perfect gift or stocking stuffer. Call Monday through Saturday toll free at 866 350 4540 and talk to a Corvette expert. Mid America Motorworks. Pursue your passion here. VetFinders.com is the Internet's original Corvette classified ads website with classified ads starting at just $25. And every ad runs until your Corvette is sold. If you're in the market for a Corvette, VetFinders.com has over 500 Corvettes for sale from all around the USA and Canada and covering all eight generations. Visit VetFinders.com, the Internet's destination for buying and selling Corvettes. That's V-E-T-T-E Finders.com. Check out the first Corvette-only auction website at 427stingray.com slash Corvette today. You can sign up to bid and comment on more than 40 Corvettes every week. That's 427stingray.com slash Corvette today. Join the community. You're listening and watching Corvette Today with Steve Garrett. Hey, thanks for listening and watching Corvette Today, the show that talks about everything Corvette. Brought to you by Wheelcraft. Want to dress up your Corvette with bright chrome or black chrome wheels? Visit wheelcraft.com and learn about their advanced PVD chrome finishing. They can refinish your wheels or offer a wheel exchange for most models, and it comes with a five-year warranty. Visit wheelcraft.com today or call them 833 833- 840-5334. I'm your host, Steve Garrett. With me every other week is Keith Cornett from CorvetteBlogger.com. We keep you current and up to date on what's happening with America's sports car. In this third and final segment, we always talk about the lighter side of Corvette. Keith, I was really excited to see plant tours can now be booked, and you do it through the National Corvette Museum. Yeah, we've been waiting a long time for this. You know, the last time tours were offered was July of 2017. After that, they closed the plant to the public. They were working on the new paint shop. And then, uh, of course, the ZR1 came out and they were keeping the plant closed through all their C8 development. And then COVID hit. So it was an extended break. It was much longer than what they anticipated. But they are finally back. I think the first tours started November 2nd. So what you do is you schedule these through the National Corvette Museum's website. 
website, corvettemuseum.org. It's actually a combo ticket. So for $50, you get both a plant tour and admission to the Corvette Museum. Oh. And then for Corvette Museum members, the price is discounted to $35. It's a little bit more than what's previous, but our understanding is that the tours are a little bit longer now. They're one and a half hours through the assembly plant. The groups are limited to 15 people or less. So we've actually talked to a couple people that went through. One of our friends went through and he said there's maybe eight people there. The tour was done by a retired Corvette assembly plant worker that used to be there. Nice. He says they're still kind of getting their feet underneath them, but really good info. You walk up to the paint shop and there's windows there. And so you can see the skiffs moving the parts back and forth. So there is definitely a lot to see there. What else can I tell you about this? When you book it through the NCM, there's a calendar there. So they've got the dates right now, I think, open through January 31st. They're going to constantly keep extending that. And there's also blackout dates. The plant can say, hey, we're going to be working on some stuff here that we don't want people to see. So you might see a blackout date of a week or two weeks in there. But again, very cool. These tours, I think they leave every half hour or so. I think they start at 8 o'clock and then go to like 2.50 or 2.30 or somewhere. One of the pro tips I heard is if you take the very last one, it might just be a little bit longer just because it's a little bit more relaxed because there's not a group right after them. So a little pro tip there, of course, we're going to go and probably do our first plant tour when we visit the Corvette Museum back for the bash. Really excited. People want to see their cars being built. They want to see other cars being built. It's a nice way to tell the people that are working on the cars, you know, hey, thanks for doing a great job. It just brings us closer. It's a better connection to our car. Not many facilities open up for the public. It's just a great way to see America's favorite sports car getting built. Absolutely right. I was thinking the same thing. I would go on a tour when the birthday bash was coming up. We'll have to do that together. That'll be fun. Exactly. Also, Corvettes at Carlisle is planning something really cool. They're going to do a 100th anniversary salute to Le Mans. I can't wait for that. Yeah, I believe this is going to be the chip's choice for next year. They're already planning it. It's the 100th anniversary again of the 24 Hours of Le Mans. And of course, we haven't been there for 100 years, but we've been there for 60 years, I think, right? Right. Since 1960. What they're doing is they're going to assemble a bunch of Corvettes that all race there. And not only like the factory racers in yellow that we're used to, but hopefully some of the cars that were there in the 70s, you know, the Greenwood cars, Spirit of Le Mans, maybe some of the L88s from C267 race there. So they're going to have this nice collection, definitely. Definitely something to see. Anytime you can see some of these vintage race cars all in one place, it's a great place to do it. So yeah, check out Corvettes of Carlisle next year. Absolutely right. Also, this was cool, and we covered this in one of our previous news and headline shows. A man here in Kansas finally received his 1959 C1 Corvette six years after it was seized. It's a great story. Yeah, so Richard Martinez bought a 1959 Corvette six years ago in Indiana. The car had been restored, looked great, red with white coves. He picks it up, brings it back to Kansas, and has to have it inspected at a state police outpost. Because the car was restored, what they did was they took the VIN tag off, restored the frame, and then the VIN tag was put back on, but it had new rivets. Because of the way that Kansas law was written, basically the car was seized as contraband and it was slated to be destroyed because the VIN tag had been tampered with. It took him six years. They said he spent all kinds of money on legal fees and finally got the attention of some lawmakers who realized, wow, this is really bad for our citizens. Let's change this law. So they changed the law. He announced they were going to get the car back. While the car was stored, it was just sitting in these various storage facilities. They kind of got beat up a little bit. I think even at one point, it was sitting outside for a minute. Ugh. Not only did he have to spend all this money just to get the car back, but now the car is going to need paint. It's going to need this and that. Luckily, Kansas also gave him a check for $20,000 as sort of a mea culpa on that. So good on them. But he finally got it delivered. A state police officer was there to present the car back to him, turn the keys back over to him. Eventually, I think it was a happy ending. He's a little put out about the whole situation, but he's got his car back. It's home. And I think that's all you could ask for. Better late than never, buddy. Better late than never. <laughs> <laughs> and our final story is our feel-good story of the week. We had a veteran that was surprised with a new C8 Corvette. Yeah, this was kind of a fun story. And in fact, we know this guy because I think three years ago, his wife surprised him with a new C7 Stingray for like his birthday or their anniversary. He runs a YouTube channel called Protective Dad Pranks. When he got that C7, he just fell in love with the Corvette lifestyle and has been making more Corvette videos, I think, than family prank videos. But I, I'm, I'm not a real <laughs> big viewer of his channel. So what happened was he was going to trade in his C7 for a C8. He was working with a dealership in Texas. 
his friend Justin from Horsepower Obsessed and another guy named Jason from Front Seat Driver. They all got together with the dealership and conspired, <laughs> is the best way to say it, they conspired to give him bad information on when his car was coming. So he thought his car was actually going to come in December. They worked it out so that the car was at the dealership and then they said, hey, we're going to just go and film a, an oil change on your car for their channels, something to talk about, a little technical thing, no problem. So when he walks in there, they tell him, oh, wait, there's a problem with your C7. And he walks in there and there's a red C8. He bought the car. He just was surprised with the date and the delivery, but very cool stuff. You're helping a guy that served this country and had a little fun with it. Kudos for all the people that helped out there. Great story. Well, buddy, thanks for being back on Corvette today. Have a good two weeks and we will see you right around Thanksgiving. Sounds great, Steve. Got all kinds of stuff happening. This is the month to be thankful. We are thankful for Corvettes and all the people that make them. We're going to be watching all the channels of people showing off their new Z06s. So stay tuned to Corvette Blogger. We're going to have it all. Thanks for listening to Corvette Today. And please be sure to tell your family, friends, and other Corvette enthusiasts about the Corvette Today podcast. And thanks to our sponsors, Wheelcraft. Want to dress up your Corvette with bright chrome or black chrome wheels? Visit wheelcraft.com to learn about their advanced PVD chrome finishing. They can refinish your wheels or offer a wheel exchange for most models, and it comes with a five-year warranty. Visit wheelcraft.com today or call 833-840-5334. American Hydrocarbon at American Hydrocarbon Dot com, True Wealth and Company at RetireWithTrue.com. Also, Aerolari Wheels. Get $100 off your purchase with the new promo code CT111 at Aerolari.com. Met America Motorworks at MAMotorworks.com. And Hendrick Chevrolet in Kansas City at ChevyUSA.com. You've been listening to Corvette Today with Steve Garrett. If you'd like to contact Steve with any thoughts on the podcast or ideas for guests on Corvette Today, you can email him at stevegarrettdj at gmail.com. That's stevegarrettdj at gmail.com. Garrett has two R's and two T's. Or connect with Steve on social media on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram using at stevegarrettdj. Thanks again for listening to Corvette Today.